punch their ticket to the semi-final. They've done it every single year. Pucks loose or Dakmi now. Feeding it ahead, Renata Fast at the lane. Fast out wide, driving on Soderberg, and she scores! Renata Fast opens the scoring against Sweden. She's gonna squeeze as that puck goes east-west. You can see the squeeze right there. Renata Fast says, listen, I'm gonna jump through the middle because when that puck comes available, I'm gonna be able to grab it. Renata Fast, a right-handed shot. So as she's coming through, look at the shield. As she's able to gain the inside, and she uses her backhand. Second line for Sweden. Turbo, heading back the other way. <laughs> Cut off in the zone, Carlson. Stacey, turnover, she scores! Laura Stacy makes it 2-0 Team Canada. She's able to come through the neutral ice. She's got some speed, but all of a sudden she loses the puck, but she stays with it. She recognizes, gets the takeaway, and then look where she goes. She goes to the net right after she's able to dislodge that puck up to Stacy. And I think she's a bit of a flash screen there. Stacy, a right-handed shot. It's on and off the stick. Pyung Bloom with speed. She has Alien Harrison with her. Chips it out wide. Harrison back to the blue line, finding Olsen, down low in front, Svensson, a lane, she scores! Hilda Svensson in a league of her own, catches in on Sweden's power play. The 17-year-old just getting it done, but this is some great puck work along the boards. Listen, there's a ton of pressure here to work it to the half wall, and now down low and right away to that bump spot, not allowing anyone to get back in through the middle of the ice. So that cross-diagonal pass, those are the ones that you do not want. And also to note, that Canada really winning those draws in the first period. Pillier has Poulin in front, the captain! A stop by Soderberg, denying Marie Philippe Poulin. What a stop! For one so far in this game. But it starts right through the middle of the ice. You can see just Pillier bringing it outside, and she's drawing outside. She's drawing coverage to her, and she can see that Poulin stays on side, driving that weak side, pulls it to her backhand. Soderberg now out in front, fast drives, a backhand shot just wide. And now with the lead, 2-1. Kristen O'Neill back for LaRock. Centering pass, fast. In full control, top of the circle, the high shot, she scores! We're not a fast with her second of the game. It's the insurance marker for Team Canada. Canada's even able to change. Jimmy Lee Rattray goes for a change, and you can see her edge work up the top. Draw two, and then open up the lane right there and take it. Listen, she's got Gosling net front, sort of in that inner slot area, and you can see that she's fronted the defender, Forrest Grin, so it's real screen there, and Renata Fast putting the puck to the net. We spoke to Troy Ryan, who coaches her with the Toronto. No one's really moving, just elect to put it, push, push Sweden back, put it into the neutral zone, and now you've got Malte on the hunt. Malte in front, Spooner, forehand, she scores! <laughs> They're able to get pressure because you know you've got players like Malte and Nurse who are in on the hunt, and Malte's going to win that battle. Put it out front so that initial shot is there because of that hard work, smart play by Shelton. Then you've got pounding pucks by Malte, and then she finds Spooner who goes outside in to be able to get that shot off. Yeah. Let's the shot go. She scores! She's able to get it up to Borbonet. She's going to have to go for a line change. You got Gosselin driving the net and just throwing it to the net. And I'm not sure if Bergstrom was a screen for Soderberg, but nonetheless, maybe one she wants back. Canada, a 5-1 win over Sweden for the 23rd straight year is off to the semifinals.